Hey everyone, so it was announced roughly a year ago, but it's finally been released, and that is the Amazon Prime original series Jack Ryan, or as it's technically known, Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan, as it is based off of the Tom Clancy novels. Uh, now, Tom Clancy has written a ton of different Jack Ryan and spy thriller sort of novels. Um, he actually passed away in 2013, uh, but his sort of stories are still carried on by various authors but Jack Ryan is hands down his most popular character. So popular, in fact, that it's actually been portrayed by a bunch of different actors, including Alec Baldwin, Harrison Ford, uh, Ben Affleck, and most recently Chris Pine in 2014 in the film versions. Um, but there's been a ton of other Tom Clancy uh, properties, including Rainbow Six video games, Splinter Cell video games, and obviously the books. Um, but Jack Ryan is hands down his most popular character, and in this iteration is portrayed by John Krasinski, who's uh, most famous from the U.S. version of The Office, and most recently a very beloved movie of mine uh, that I actually saw as well, uh, which is A Quiet Place, which is absolutely phenomenal. He both uh, directed it and starred in it. Uh, but he does a phenomenal job in this one as well, playing the title character of Jack Ryan, who uncovers a terrorist plot as a CIA analyst and has to race to stop it and convince everybody to help him stop it as well. Now before we get too deep into the series and the review itself, let me go ahead and preface by saying that I've actually never seen or read pretty much anything Tom Clancy or Jack Ryan, with exception to seeing the 2014 Shadow Recruit with Chris Pine and occasionally playing like Rainbow Six or Splinter Cell. There's really not a whole lot of Tom Clancy stuff that I'm familiar with, um, other than knowing that Tom Clancy does a lot of spy, thriller, sort of uh, Marines type of things. Um, but I really have no idea much about it. Um, I'm not actually not even that big a fan of the spy thriller genre, with very few exceptions. And actually, by watching this series, this is one of those exceptions. This was hands down a phenomenal series. Um, it's only about eight episodes, they're about an hour each, but they are absolutely great. There's very little bad things that I had to say about it. Um, the performances, let's go ahead and start with that first. Uh, obviously, we have to start with our star, John Krasinski. He does such a great job. I think that you would never really picture John Krasinski as this type of an actor, uh, sort of like that spy thriller, um, sort of action-y sort of star kind of guy. Um, but he's actually really good at it, and I think that what helps that a lot is Jack Ryan is supposed to be that relatable point of view character where he's sort of an average guy, but he goes above and beyond when he thinks that something is wrong. Um, he's going to try and make it right. And I feel like Krasinski very much fits that mold in a lot of ways. Um, he's kind of that person you aspire to be to always fix that wrong, things like that. Um, and I definitely related to that. Um, I feel like he's actually does a really good job of portraying this character and trying to right those wrongs and stop this terrorist plot. Um, now, as for the other actors, um, they actually did a really great job as well. I don't really have much to say bad about it. Um, the biggest negative that I have to say about the entire series um, is probably going to be certain character things. Um, but I feel like that's more related to the characters themselves and how they their nature is rather than like the actors portraying them. So for example, there's some jokes that like Jack's boss has later in the series um, that don't land very well. But being a part of like the CIA and like the military and things like that it comes off as very dry and doesn't land very well. And it's actually not funny, but it's somehow funny to people who are have had similar experiences like being in the government, things like that. And I feel like that was why it worked, even though it didn't really work, is because it's just the nature of the character. It's what they know, so it's funny to them, and it's funny to people who will relate to that, but not necessarily to outsiders such as myself who have no connection to this type of world. But it actually kind of works to the benefit of their character, which I think is very commendable. And I feel like that that's kind of what makes the show work is that even though every character is imperfect in certain ways, that's kind of how it's meant to be that it's not real life. Like I get closer to real life by not being perfect than being like a uh, dramatized version of what we want real life to be. 
Now, as for the story, I feel like that was probably the biggest roller coaster. Not necessarily in a bad way, but actually in quite a good way. Um, I love it when a story can take you on a roller coaster for a ride. Like, it's going to have a lot of high points, a lot of great action, a lot of great various things. But it has those character-driven moments, uh, like I was previously mentioning, that really drive the story and actually make you relate to these characters not feeling like they're just sort of a cookie cutter mold type of character. And I feel like that this show really portrayed that very well. Um, now for the story, I feel like there was so much going for it. They had those ramped up action moments where there were explosions and uh, people pointing guns, couple shots fired, things like that. That you know, drove the story very well in that aspect, but those character moments and those sort of down moments where they didn't necessarily have to be constantly going was helping build those characters for later in the franchise. So there was going to be obviously hopefully be a second series and uh, second season, uh, which I definitely think that that will happen. But I feel like that those moments sort of build to those relationships and sort of connecting it to really make you relatable, make them relatable to yourself rather, and want to actually continue to watch the show. Um, a lot of those moments centered around uh, Jack Ryan's main character, obviously, and those sort of main characters around him. But the terrorist family that he's trying to stop or the family of the terrorists that he's trying to help um, to get information, things like that, um, they were absolutely brilliant. I absolutely loved it. They, there was a lot of drama there. There was a lot of great tension moments, a lot of scary moments. Um, for example, like the family of the terrorist goes eventually goes on the run not to spoil anything um but they are on the run and like the things that they have to go through while on the run are very eye-opening and the fact that you think oh my god like people actually do this on a like a daily basis or not necessarily daily basis but to escape from the horrible situation that they may be in whether because of a family situation or um, like trying to get out of a third world country to make it a better opportunity in a first world country like the U.S. Um, things like that. It's absolutely crazy to watch. And it's very heartbreaking, but it's very eye-opening at the same time. And that was some of the moments that I felt like were the most, I don't want to say relatable, but they were a little bit tough to watch, but in a good way, if that makes sense. Like, I really liked those moments because you saw that struggle. And I feel like people need to be more aware of those things. Um, like, the struggle to come to a different country or try and make a better life for yourself. Um, I feel like that's something that's very important that this show kind of showed in small glimpses, but definitely benefited from showing it, I think. Um, but that was hands down one of the greatest story elements, I think. But there's a lot of great things to this story that keep you wanting to watch it and it feels like even though the series is eight episodes an hour long each that total of about eight hours total um it keeps you on the edge of your seat a lot of the time and it actually makes you want to continue to watch it whether it be because of those action thrilling moments or those character moments just to find out what the next thing that's going to happen is the show does a great job of that and i definitely have to commend the writers for sort of compounding and like building that sort of story of all these crazy moments, but all these sort of down moments that fit together very well, like a puzzle um, to actually make it captivating and really engage you in wanting to watch it and continue to watch it. Now, obviously I don't want to delve too deep into the actual story itself because I actually want you guys to go and watch this series. I actually really liked it a lot, even not being a fan of uh, spy thrillers or anything like that. This is definitely one of the most exciting shows that I've seen on television in quite some time. Um, but I feel like it really combined a lot of those great things, including like the story, but like great previous sort of spy thrillers, uh, like a 24 or like those race against the clock sort of moments, but having some sort of connection. And I feel like that that's really great because I think a lot the, the writers came from like Lost, so they really know how to combine that story elements. Um, some of the actors are from like The Wire or things like that. They really combined to make this actually a spy thriller. Like it was actually pretty thrilling at times. And I really did enjoy that a lot. Um, but I don't want to really get too deep into it and spoil things. I think I spoiled one thing already. Um, but I hope you guys really do watch it, and it's really a great series. I highly recommend it. And for that reason, the overall grade that I'm going to give Jack Ryan Season 1, or rather 
Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan Season 1, an A+. I definitely recommend you guys check this one out. It is definitely a great series to watch. Highly recommend it. Um, for one reason or another, there's tons of great aspects to it, but definitely check it out. It is on Amazon Prime uh, now. Uh, all eight episodes, about an hour apiece. You will definitely enjoy it if you are spy thriller fan, action fan, just drama fan in general. It's definitely a great series to watch, and I highly recommend it. Um, but other than that, that's really all my thoughts that I have on Jack Ryan. I really can't wait for a season two. They did kind of set it up for that, um, so I'm really excited to see more of that in the future. I really hope he continues with this series, or actually the entire cast, rather, uh, continues with the series. It's definitely great. Um, but other than that, that's all I have on that. Uh, but really what I want to say is thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I know I've been away for a little while. Um, just trying to refocus on really what I want to do with the channel, things that I want to be passionate about talking about. Um, it's been a little bit difficult, but I want to try and get back into it, have a little bit more of a schedule to release videos and content. Um, I have a couple of things lined up that I'm working on for videos already, so hopefully that will get the ball rolling and we'll be back into a regular sort of schedule hopefully soon. Uh, but thank you guys so much for sticking around and for watching this video and hopefully future videos. I really do appreciate it. You really are the best. Um, thank you guys so much again, and I hope you guys have a great one.